All right. Um, hi, everybody. Corey here from the, well, what used to be the Knitting All the Blankets YouTube channel. And now I, well, it's still my, it's, that's still the name of the channel. I just hardly post anything anymore. Um, yeah, being a mom has really taken up all of my time. So today I'm uh, doing my annual Twin Mommy Creations Mini Skein Advent Calendar Unboxing. And I'm not going to show you what the box looks like because Anne taped it so well that I essentially had to destroy the box. Actually, I'm just going to, hopefully I don't drop my phone. Excuse my bedroom. Yeah, there's the box and everything. So yeah, I had fun with that. So right up off the bat, on top of the, um, the little packages are weave your a sticker. It says holographic sticker. Weave your dreams into reality. <clears throat> Knit for brains. And a stegosaurus with balls of yarn as its spikes. I might give this to my son. He's really into dinosaurs. So, but I don't know yet. All right. Oh, I am wearing my awesome uh, boneyard shawl uh, by um, Stephen West that I made several years ago. All right. Number one. All right, number one. Oh, and already we have a, um, that is, I believe she called these, um, it's like a progress keep reminder or a, um, the little rings, um, stitch marker. That's the word. That's the word, stitch marker reminder. So, um, right off the bat. And this beautiful orange, I have my window open, so I'm really, my hair is like all over the place. Um, I'm really hoping the color comes through a little better. Let me see if I, I have a new, okay, that helped. I turned the little light on that I have. It's called Sunburst. And yeah. All right, I'm going to get a pen out because the, um, the actual labels don't have like what day they are on them and I'm just going to get a pen and write that on there because I'm going to want to recycle like all of these and something just dropped onto my floor oh well please excuse my hair I had it up and it looked even worse so yeah all right one so beautiful orange where am i going to put all these all right day two i'm really not liking my hair and i did brush it this morning i promise all right day two is called pink lemonade and that actually really does embody what to me pink lemonade should look like I'm really glad she put um, colorway names on them this year. I don't think she did last year, and it drove me crazy. Day three. I know a lot of people do, like, they make it part of their Vlogmas where they unbox their mini skein advent calendars daily, which is great. But this is like my Christmas present from my husband, so I do my best. I, I mean, he wouldn't care, but I don't open it up till after Christmas. So, all right, day number three is called Valentine, and there is a little itty bitty sock progress keeper, which I have progress keep reminder. I'm going to put them all on there as I go through this. That way I don't lose them. Number three. 
day four. Ooh, it's a beautiful red. Heartbreak. This one is called Heartbreak. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it when, and I think Anne honestly does this because I requested she do it. Um, but the fact that she does have colorway names on hers, I really appreciate that. When the individual mini skeins in a set have colorway names, I'm sorry, I keep looking at my face when I know I need to look right here. So I apologize. I'm a little out of practice. Day five. This one is called Too, Too Cool. And it's like pinks and reds and black and white. And there looks like there's just a touch of blue in there. And there is a mitten colorway. Or er, colorway. Progress Keeper. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little scratchy. It's that time of the year when everybody gets sick, and I am no exception. All right, number six. Okay, this one is... Oh my God. There's nothing in that one. This one is called Back in the Day. And it's like a black and white grayscale style. It's very nice. Day six. Now, I'd love to hear what you guys use your mini skeins for. Um, if you're still one of my subscribers, um, hi, thanks for sticking around for the annual video. Um, I'm sorry I don't post more. But I started collecting mini skeins to make a mini skein. 10 stitch blanket. I use this current one is using the Frankie Brown original 10 stitch blanket pattern where it starts in the center and it goes around and around and around and around and around. So that's what all of these mini skeins are destined for. And I have a lot of mini skeins. Um, ah, progress keeper fell under my desk. I will go get that. Oh no, there it is. I'm pausing. Hang on. All right. Hi. Okay. This one had a little sweater stitch marker. Don't want to lose my, my shawl here. I've really been enjoying using my shawl this year. Okay. This one is, in t set is called Let Me Go, and it's a lovely, like, burgundy Merlot colorway. should see the little pile by the camera. Right, day eight. Start opening stuff over the box. <laughs> this one is called Diametaceous. Um, if you've heard of Diametaceous Earth, that type, it's like browns and purples and tans and very earthy. My skin feels so dry. All right, this is number nine. Day nine. Ah, opening over the box was a good idea because I have a little troll stitch marker. Okay. And this one is called Ancient Time. Purples and tans and oranges and yellow and I really like this one. I mean, I love all of them, obviously. 
I don't think Anne's ever done a colorway in a mini skein set that I have not loved. Okay, day 10. Maybe there will be a shawl pin in one of these things and I can pin the shawl. Okay, my hair. My hair does not always look this bad, I promise. Alright, no, day 10. This one is called Desert Grown. More purples and browns. All right, day 11. Yep. Good plan to open it up over the box again. I remember Anne saying that she was really excited about all the little goodies that were going to be in this advent calendar. She also did a separate notions advent calendar if you just wanted notions, but I prefer mini skeins. This one is called Pick Me, and it's like a, <clears throat> let me get a drink of water real quick. like a cobalt blue and like a tan and a cream and it did come with a stitch marker and this one is if I can pick it up a little kitty cat I know she really enjoys making different types of stitch markers. She has a lot available on her website, which I will link in the description box below. Day 12. This one is called Denim. And to me, this looks more purpley than blue. That's just my opinion. I can't even remember what day I just said. I have to check the next box. All right, day 13. Another stitch marker. All right, and this one is called Berry Blue. This one reminds me of like a blueberry cobbler, a blue, a mixed berry, a mixed berry crumble type thing. Looks really nice. Uh, And the stitch marker it came with is, oh, okay, this is just a really, really small, um, not needle minder, but like neat size gauge. Yeah, it's almost as big, it's just slightly bigger than the pad of my thumb. That one's actually really neat. All right. Day 14. We're over halfway there, guys. Alright, this one is called The Queen. And it is um, a tonal purple. It's very pretty. Day 15. Oh, oh, several things in this one. Uh, this one is called Love Letter. And it's reds and purples with um, some lighter shades where uh, the dye wasn't quite as heavy. So I'm not going to call that cream. I think that's just the undyed yarn. 15. All right, and what she put in here... Oh, cool. There's snowflake buttons. And I got three of them. So that is so cool. And they're textured on one side. That's really neat. All right. 
16. Okay. This one is called Dainty Dew, and it's like purple, like a light purple and greens. Reminds me of, um, uh, Oh, what's the name of that plant? Like lilacs. Reminds me of lilacs a little bit. All right. Number 17 or day 17. All right. This one is called Mirage and it's more purples and like a dark gray. So that one looks really neat. You know, I'm a fan of mini skeins because I know I will never live long enough to knit all the things and all the yarns. Um, I do not harbor that illusion about myself. Um, I'm also not a sock knitter. I'm a shawl and blanket knitter. And um, for me, um, doing blankets, like the the Frankie Brown, Frankie Brown patterns are wonderful to me because um unlike the corner to corner blanket which is a crochet pattern I know or just casting on and knitting a blanket as is or even like with um well that's a bad part um bad example but even like with the shawl it's the yarn will only stretch so far depending on how much you have and you may just get this thin stripe of color and I like the thicker stripes of color. So to me, uh, the Frankie Brown patterns are excellent for mini skeins. As well as socks are great too. And um, in showing the chunks of color and, you know, really giving you an opportunity to enjoy that colorway in that chunk. Um, but that's just my opinion. All right, day 18. All right, this one was Au Natural, and it's greens and very, either very light tan or a very, or a purple shade. Oh, you guys can't even see it, sorry. I like it. I did, right, 17 on Mirage, I did. Okay, so this one's 18. Day 19, almost done. This has been sitting under my tree since, like, Thanksgiving. So. It's a good thing I couldn't see it under the tree, really, because it was kind of hidden. Because I'm not the most patient person in the world. Okay, this one is called Forest Growth, and it's shades of green with some very light green, almost yellow. I just said day 19. I had to look. Oh, and it came with another little a yellow sock progress keeper. And I just dropped it on the floor, so I'll have to pick it up after this video. Day 20. All right, and this one is, I'm going to assume it says roughage. And it's another green tonal. And this one looks more blue-green in some areas to me. I'm trying to hold it by the light. with a, uh, another mitten progress keeper. Sorry, progress keepers were not cooperating. Day 21. <clears throat> All 
Ooh, that one was a bigger progress keeper. I'm piling up the empty boxes on my nightstand and they're starting to avalanche or cascade down. This one's called Kelpie. If you've never heard of the word Kelpie, that's an Irish um, cryptid legend. It's very pretty. One of these days I'll get back to um, knitting on my mini skein 10 stitch blanket. Right now with a two and a half year old, I stick to projects that if he grabs the yarn or grabs my needles out of my hands, um, it's not a big deal. So like blanket squares or dishcloths, you know, something that's small that I can frog and restart. Um, this is a little one inch by one inch progress keeper. So if you, um, it's like a kind of sort of little gauge. All right, number 22. Oh, this one's so bright. This one is, makes me think of Anne. It's called Neon Tube, and she is into the bright colors. Oh, I hope she had a lot of fun making this one. All right, day 23, three left. And like I've said before, I totally recommend ordering from Anne. She's really nice. Um, I love her work. Um, as I said, this was my Christmas present. We do pay for it. This is not me um, schlepping her or anything. Um, in exchange for an advent calendar. No, I, we paid for it. Um, okay, this one is called Zombie Zone. So it's got green with red, I guess, to indicate blood. That one's kind of cool. And it came with another needle size guide. And this one's a keychain. Number 24. Okay. This one is called Everyday Love, which really to me looks like um, berry picking, which was another one of her colorways that um, this was the inspiration for. So, and I did this. This is um, just um, two strands of the different color yarns from Caron Simply Soft held together. So this is what, that's what this reminds me of, is, um, my own shawl, actually. Okay, number 24. Number 25. And this one is called Deep Down. And this is like a very dark blue, like a gray blue, not, not a light gray blue, but like a dark gray blue. Yeah, this is beautiful. And, um, Anne's mini skein sets come in either 10 grams or 20 grams. I always get, I get 20 grams personally. Um, oh, and the, and, uh, this came with a keychain. It says Fiber Fiend on it. So that's neat. All right. So destroyed box out of the way. That will go onto the recycling bin. Now, Anne did give me, there's another box that has, um, the rest of the, uh, the goodies in it, if I can get it open. I will destroy this box too, I'm not afraid to. 
Okay. Okay, a four pack of spiral cable needles. And they look like this. And there's a bigger one. There's two of each color. So I, I don't know how, I've never done a cable. So I don't know how this works, but this is a neat idea. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got like a little Boston Terrier, or not Boston Terrier, a little doggy progress keeper. Um, got little rainbow kitty cat progress keeper, or kitty cat yarn progress keeper. A label that says hand wash and lay flat to dry with a little gnome on it. So it's like one of those yarn labels. And then shell pin. And this is the like the um, those Christmas tree cakes. So I've never actually used a shawl pin on this. I'm kind of scared too. Does using a shawl pin like stretch it? Stretch, I don't like, I'm, I'm terrified. I, I said I wanted a shawl pin, now I have one and I'm terrified to use it. So I'll have to find that out. But yes, that was the Twin Mommy Creations 2022 Mini Skein Advent Calendar 20 gram uh, lot. I'm assuming the, temp, the, the 10 gram set is the exact same colorways. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, it Anne usually puts out the um, the ad for the advent calendars early fall, and uh, she usually only does like ten of each. So if you're interested, um, you know, put a reminder in your calendar. Follow her on Instagram and Facebook. That's where she does a lot of um, announcements and. Thank you guys for watching, and um, how many times can I say and um? And I guess I'll see you next year for next year's unboxing, because that's kind of all my plan is right now, okay? So, bye everyone.